summer, you know, as much as we love the sun and the heat, so do our friends, the bugs. So right. is this a time when most of our bugs have hatched and they've emerged? A lot of them have absolutely. Um, the the timing of it typically they do thrive. There's there's certainly different insects that have different life cycles and sometimes have two to three generations or maybe even more. Um, but absolutely, the the heat typically uh, typically does um, allow for more pest activity, right? So there's a few things that we can do as arborists and any arborist can really uh, batten down the time frame using you know. We, we can get technical, but it's called grown degree days. And we can try to figure out when, you know, when these insects or critters will hatch. We can have an idea of when, uh, not only when they hatch, but certainly certain species where we know certain insects and diseases uh, come. And then the, and back to the time frame certainly. So uh, yes, this is the time that you're getting a lot of that activity. You're getting a lot of pests, and a lot of diseases and funguses and, and again, your 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 uh, expert arborist should be able to help out with that, um, and and deter some of this. Sometimes you need treatments, treatment options, uh, and sometimes you can just do things preventively, whether it is a treatment preventively or culturally. Uh, culturally might include things like certainly adequate moisture, good mulching, fertilization, getting a healthy plant. A healthy plant or a tree will actually be able to fend off a lot of pests and diseases on its own. So if you have a healthy tree and you've been able to incorporate some of this other stuff we just talked about, you, you can certainly deter some of this. Some cases you can't do that at all. Pruning is another option. Certainly thinning out certain canopies of trees, allow more movement of air uh, and sun, filtered sun helps with certain um, pathogens, funguses, as well as uh, pests that we know like those sort of close quarters, uh, stagnant air, no airflow. So, those are things that we want to be looking out for and certainly an expert to help in that.